subscribe to automation studio channel and press on bell icon to get new notification video hello guys welcome to automation studio <clears throat> so uh, in this video we are going to see how to use apm desktop app uh, in order to inspect the elements uh, for <clears throat> android mobile app so in in previous video we have discussed about the ios app inspecting using apm desktop app video is a continuation of uh, the same topic but with android okay so i'm not going to uh, discuss the basic thing what i have already discussed in the previous video you can watch my previous video for that and uh, let's start with this okay so as uh, earlier told you like i do have the app already in the form of the apk file so make sure this apk file should be debug file in order to deal with the apm okay so <clears throat> here is my desktop app let's start this okay so let's go to inspect and here is my already i have my uh <clears throat> avd uh oh, sorry uh, virtual device uh, already running so um, without wasting more time let, let's concentrate on uh, how to uh, defend the desired capability for uh, android app okay so as we seen earlier like we need to define app here so for app just go to your app folder and just capture the full path you need to provide the full path here so that's it this uh, work is over for this one okay yeah so this is a full path now the second thing is device name okay here device name is enough for in the you know uh, in case of uh, android so adb device is the command so adb should be set up in your machine unless otherwise you will face some problems with communicating with the devices so how to set up the adb you have to watch my previous video for that okay <clears throat> so device name is already is also uh, you know added okay so here you, you no need to uh, you know add the udid because here the device name is unique okay so that is the reason why we not require any udid in this case okay now what's next so next we should define here platform name okay and then platform name should be android okay <clears throat> let's try this i think we need to provide the automation name as well i don't think so because we have given here platform name yeah no need for that okay so now it's it's launching i guess let's see let's wait for some time yes it is launching the app okay so it is launched uh, but it's not refreshed well so let me refresh from refresh from here cool okay so so i have already explained you these options so there is the select element option so like that it will get highlighted and uh, this swipe coordinate we are not going to use it and tab by coordinates as i told you like coordinate wise if you want to use it you can use it but you should not use this study because <coughs> this study is not going to work out with some other layout devices okay so this is the back option this is the refresh screen option what we have done just now <coughs> This is a start recording option this is in search element option and this is a quit session or close inspector option okay so i'm going to click on this element and uh, let me send some keys so click on that and say Praveen and send keys so see here it's going to type Praveen okay and here it's rendering now So see, it's done. Now let me get it. Simple as that. Okay. 
So here are the strategies available. So see, we have the ID here, we have the X path here, we have such kind of you know attribute is also available here. So in a similar way, you can use the attribute strategy also. So just go to here. Uh, so in case suppose you want to deal with uh, this field, okay, click on that and uh, you can validate whether this ID is correct or not. So let's paste over here only one element, right? This one. So this is the unique one. Only one element is <clears throat> you know available for that. Okay. So here you can type something. I will say QA and I will say send keys. And then it's going to type that. And I will say done. So see QA is they have typed QA and it's now it's refreshing the screen. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> now let's uh, try with this screen. Uh, sorry, in this element, and uh, here are the number of you know the option available in order to deal with this element. Okay. So what we're going to do? Um, uh, okay. Yeah. So let's use this class as a attribute. Okay. <coughs> so in order to use this attribute, what should we do? again mm, okay so let's say so see here is the class right so we can use the class name also so i should not use this class name let's see okay we have the three classes one two three okay if i have to deal with the second one what should i do so shall i say like that yeah no it's not going to work okay but <clears throat> if i will say uh star okay star and then i'm sorry add it sorry uh class is equal to and this one okay and uh, i will then close with an braces <coughs> oops i have to select x path yes then i will get it right so this is how you can you know deal with that and if you will say three then it will goes to three okay so let's use this tool to and search and let me type here some text okay done okay let's type and then i need to just say that uh search here and i should say some password send keys done okay <clears throat> so this is the beauty of this inspector so uh, meanwhile you can test also your strategy you can evaluate your strategy also and based on your element selection strategy, you can identify how, how many element you will get when you will inspect or during the time of execution of your script. Okay, so this is the power of this, you know, search element uh, option. Okay, I'm going to record it. Okay, so when I will press this record button, so then the, <clears throat> the script will automatically generate it. Okay. So let's see how far uh, they have generated the script. Okay. So all the elements they have enclosed over here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do here. So I just want to tap on this button. So let's tap. So all the required all the information I have already feed it. So for that you need 
to start from recordings you have to start recording from that level so i i forget to start the recording before i have entered the text form uh, account name user id and password so that it will cover in your script okay so that part is not covered in the script just only login is covered see for that i have <clears throat> made couple of options like i have written here qa i have written here this text and password also right and then i have clicked on this login button so you have to start from that point so it's logged in okay so now it is refreshing now so it's taking some time yep okay so now i'm going to click on this button okay so see so okay so what should i do so i should simple tab on this one so see it's open this menu and uh, so well this is all about the beauty of this native app so this i'm just demoing over on the native app so native app is uh, very easy to automate uh, with the use of uh, this inspector <clears throat> now the world is moving toward the native app as part of the hybrid and the uh, you know web app there's a lot of uh, you know uh, companies are using even hybrid and web web like amazon and all and make my trip and other uh, other companies but uh, the the future and the the fast working app is only native web okay because native web can communicate with the hardware of your device also right but the web app can't <clears throat> so there is the beauty of you know uh, using the native web over the web apps or web apps or hybrid apps right okay so uh so here i'm going to log out it uh so for the log out i it's not able to identify see so what should i do so i have to look for the logout option no yeah so this is the one okay so this is the one then i can go here no this is not this is not yeah this could be okay yes log out so i should tap on this okay so let's see in this script whether the logout is yeah logout is oh, oh my god so the entire thing is come up okay okay whatever so just click on that and tap cool so <clears throat> this script has been generated okay so like that you can you know record your script okay for the native app you can inspect your element okay you can check whether it is working or not and you are confident like those elements are perfectly working fine then you can go ahead and record that particularly particular flow for your test script and then you can just uh click on this copy code clipboard and then you can type over here you can paste it right you can delete your unnecessary code and uh, you can you know copy the code in your uh, whatever editor where you used to you know write your code and then you can run it it should run like how it is running here okay so uh, that's all guys uh, you can uh, explore uh, your apps native apps uh, you can inspect your apps uh, for the android like what i have whatever i have shown you here okay hope this video will help you okay and uh, it's very good start in order to deal with the apm so uh, i will call as a kick start uh, <clears throat> tutorial for this how to inspect and uh, using apm for android native apps so i like that and it's a very quick walk through over this uh small uh you know uh, ui application so uh hope this video will help has helped you and uh, also you can share this video with your friends and keep subscribe for uh, the upcoming videos and yeah goodbye bye bye